Enda Barmini, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's talk about rehab, bro. First time you go to rehab, because when I was interviewing Trevor Gumby, he told me, it's crazy, man. They locked him up in a room and he had a ball and he had to tell the ball, move, stop, don't move, to like, I don't know, empower him so he can say no to drugs and stuff okay. like that. How was your rehab experience? Um, My rehab experience was, a, uh, you know, when you, I said this to my wife the other day, actually, I said to her, you know, when you, when you end up at a place, you're like, damn, this is exactly where I need to be. Yeah. Because I came from a world where I thought there was no help, man. Mm. You know, like I thought you, you in, you in it on your own and no one cares. But lucky enough, I kind of, I, I think, yeah, my mom made sure I, I hooked up with Brahu. Mm. Brahu then kind of got me connected with a certain infrastructure of a support infrastructure wow. of people who kind of started speaking into my life. Mm. And rehab was a place I knew I was going to get help because people were brutally honest with me. They weren't mincing their words in terms of giving me feedback, yeah. you know. And that wasn't a... That wasn't a norm in my life, you mm. can imagine. Flying high, TKZ, no one's kind of telling you the truth mm. or, you know. And rehab was, was, was that kind of place for me. Did they make you do any crazy stuff like what, what uh, Trevor Oh, Pinder look, did? I mean, you call it crazy. Crazy is relative, you know. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. I'm sure it's, it's a certain, you know, there's, there's, there's different therapy, yeah. you know, uh, uh, techniques, uh, techniques mm. right? And I've never heard of that one. Mm. And yeah. What, what techniques were you doing? No, nah, I mean, we had normal group sessions. You know, you sit, you, you sit much like how we're sitting now and you kind of, people kind of, you know, the, 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 the counselor kind of uh, uh, throws questions at you to kind of get what's going on. Okay. You know, much like how you're probing and you're asking me all of these things, yeah, you know. Yeah. Then I didn't have the luxury of not answering, answering. the questions, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, kind of mind like now, you know. What's that? Kind of like now. Well, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, now I do have the luxury, you know, and look, and I respect the fact that, you know, some questions I do have to answer, but some are like, nah, man, we'll, it's we'll, you, we'll live, you know, yeah, if yeah, not yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, mm. but uh, yeah, it was a probing session and through the probing, the, the method kind of hopes that they'll get to the bottom of stuff, you know, mm. and with me, they did, you know, mm. in terms of what was going on. And um, here I am today, man, 20 years later, you know. Do you remember the, the last night where you sat down, you're like, Booga Love, KB, can't do this That's shit it. anymore. Yeah, That's it. for sure. When was for that? For sure. Like? Look, I, I just remember what I did. I just remember coming back from the lady that Brahu hooked me up with, Janine Lewin. She basically said, okay, we're checking you into rehab in two weeks. On the 1st of November, you're going in. But it was two weeks you know before mm. but she says you've got to start now mm. you know and she says when you get home whatever alcohol whatever drugs or whatever you've got mm. you just got to throw that stuff down the drain wow. i remember that night kind of coming home and opening the cupboards and just getting rid of that stuff but it felt liberating to arrive at that place because here i was like um, taking charge right and uh, doing what I needed to do, you know, because if I didn't, I'd be dead. Dude. Literally, I'd be dead. Yeah. I think I'd have been in jail or dead, but I think I'd be dead. And, uh, but many ladies and gentlemen.